Empty nest syndrome is a thing of the past. More teens and 20-somethings are choosing to live at home for longer periods of time. And for the most part, parents love it. That's why a growing number of parents are turning their basements, attics, and even garages into entertainment centers for their teens and grown children so that they'll want to spend more time hanging out at home. Some parents are shelling out thousands of dollars hiring interior designers to create the perfect space with everything from a movie theater to a recording studio. Others are simply buying ping pong tables and stocking up on video games. Experts say that this is the generation of extreme helicopter parents. Parents. They want to keep a hawk eye on their kids and be involved in everything they do. And parents figure that if they make their house the cool place to hang out, their kids won't be out drinking and driving and getting into trouble. Even post-college, parents want their kids to move back home, and 85% of college grads do. So parents want to make their house as cool as possible so that their grown children won't be in a rush to move out. This is a perfect time to discuss this with the perfect people because we have a helicopter parent in, in Connie, and I was in there with her too. And we have a millennial who, you moved home for a little while, but... but I uh, crash on your couch every once in a while. But yeah. a lot of people you know have, have absolutely done that. Yeah, and I, I don't think it's so much even a function of how cool the houses are as much as it is a function of the economy. We've graduated college into a really horrible economy, and I feel like the least you could do is build a nice house for us to move back into since you ruined the economy. <laughs> I, I didn't ruin the economy. It was you. Okay, we'll go back to teenage years. I really loved... Was the predatory lending starting during our teenage years? Is that... <laughs> I really loved having our house be the place where you and your friends hung out. I loved you know feeding them. I loved knowing that they were safe. And there were rules and regulations and pretty much you... Oh, I got away with a lot more than you even know. Um, but I also, really? I also really liked the fact that I could just, you know, go to sleep. I didn't have to drive home. That was nice. But your friends did too. They went to sleep. They did. I had a lot of friends sleep over. Yeah, then cool. I had people to play with. So it was uh, that was the big issue. Sort of yeah. But yeah. but this is, you know, when you look at it, when when you look at what's happening at places like the Home Depot, you know, people are going in there and and redoing the. I mean, that those those stories were were true about the about the music room. Uh, you know, about you know, trampolines everywhere, you know, the pool, all of that stuff was to attract the kids and take care of them. Why don't you do me a favor and just build me a house? That would be a little easier. Is that where this is going? I feel like that's where it I should go. I am ready to downsize, honey. That's great. Downsize. I'll take I'll take over your current home and you go get a new one. A Not predatory that millennial. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> a predatory millennial. Uh, are you in this situation? Have your kids moved home? Are you a helicopter parent? IntelligenceForYourLife.com.